up everybody so some of you um, don't really like me driving and videotaping but I got both hands so no worries um, this video is going to be about what's going on and progress report kind of type of thing so what I want to tell you first is that the one reason I'm making this video is to inform you guys what's going on and also to uh, kind of validate what day it is and what's happening. So right now at this moment in time, um, I'm kind of got a lot of people working on the same type of thing to try to get this VIC cell circuit set up and uh, so that we can publish it. Um, again, this is a team effort. And that's what it's going to take. I told a lot of people for a long time that it's going to take more than just me to do this. And I mean that. So I don't have the time lately. It's been too crazy to try to get everything by myself. And um, so what's going on is Sharky over at the forums has been working on the VIC circuit. Um, I believe Dan B, um, Hexar, and a few other people are kind of incorporating their ideas into that. They are doing a wonderful job. I'm hoping to try to support them with any funding money that they may need to try to get this stuff um, going to help them out. Uh, Chris, uh, one of my other buddies, he has been working on cell design, uh, actually working on drawings. Um, hopefully I can get the end caps. I'm just going to use standard tubing and like a single cell setup. And we're going to make a couple of those for now. We're going to get some out to uh, Sharky. And we're going to try to get some out to anybody else that has the exact same setup so we can all have the exact same thing. A guy by the name of Josh is working on, um, he's found a place to get the ferrite cores and he's been working on that. I'm getting him some information now to try to have them engineer a, uh, a transformer instead of trying to buy these crazy cores. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather engineer something that we don't have to manufacture these special cores to make this system work. Um, so that's the plan. I'm kind of throwing that out there now as what's going on and so nobody blames anybody for me stealing someone else's work. Um, this is a group effort and the people that are doing this full-blown open source, those are the people that are um, helping us figure this out and doing it open source. So Sharky, Hexar, Dan Bees, I think playing with that. Um, a few other people, uh, Sharky, who else did I forget? I'm sure I forgot some people. Um, so Chris and Josh, uh, another, another guy that's working on some programming instead of doing this electronically. Um, slowly but surely, that's what, what he's been doing. Um, I don't look like it's in focus, does it? Oh well. The other thing is the EPG. Uh, the Argon that I had last time was not mine. I was borrowing it and I didn't want to use a whole lot. So I uh, will be receiving a bottle of Argon. I already have the gauges. Uh, thanks to Rod for that. Um, he's been helping me out with a lot of stuff. He's the one who got this camera for me. He also got a new webcam for me because my other one crashed. As you guys saw in my last live show. So I've also got a microphone set up now. Uh, I'm going to get those things set up. I probably will be doing a live show this Sunday night. It will be a late night show. So for those of you who cannot catch it this time, I apologize. But i got to do, uh, do things with my family first, as you all know. So the Argon um, tests with EPG will continue. Um, I also will be making another video. Um, if you guys have not read the water fuel cell dealership manual and you've not looked at the EPG portion of that manual, please go do that. Somebody hit a skunk. It wasn't me. <sighs> interesting smells. Skunk's an interesting smell. And uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, so the BIC, the core, the cells, all this stuff is slowly coming together. Fire Pintos, printing out the bobbins. Good job on that one. And everyone else over at the forums have been pitching in on this. Um, a long time ago I mentioned again that this was not going to be something that I can do by myself. I don't have the means to be able to do this by myself. And you know, it's not for me, it's for all of us. It's for everyone that wants to be a part of the revolution. Um, 
another reason I'm making this video is because there's some other people doing some work and on the same stuff they've gotten farther than I have right now I don't know any results I don't know any data um, you all probably know who I'm talking about but I'm not going to mention it uh, because I, I told other people that I'm not going to mention it unless I know more details because I don't want to say anything I don't know so they're they're ahead of the game that's fantastic let them run with it um, but you know trying to get this stuff done full-blown open source and I don't know really what their overall intentions or goals are because I haven't talked to them but nonetheless you know run with it see what happens so hopefully we'll have some answers and uh, I was hoping they could give give some answers out to the public so that we don't have to guess and check and just kind of start replicating Stan's work just like they have but I haven't got very many good responses we'll see what happens in the future but that's all I really want to tell you guys. Um, I did also receive a generator. Rod got a generator so that we can start testing with a real engine. Um, and the generator part we can load down and check our different things we want to check with gases and stuff. Um, another thing with the burn rate testing, a lot of you have mentioned uh, like a chamber and actually watching it. I don't think you're going to be able to really tell just by lighting a flame what the difference is. But Stan did mention like a thermal uh, thermal explosive energy and if you look at the gas gun it's actually uh, a rocket nozzle I mean that's actually what the end of that is is a rocket nozzle my problem is is how you're gonna get that rocket nozzle not to get hot enough when it's attached to a plastic top the gas guns plastic so you got plastic attached to that that rocket nozzle a rocket nozzle has got to get hot if this all works out the way it's supposed to so whatever we'll figure it out but I want to inform you guys what's going on and I also want to inform you that you know other people that's doing this work and if they release some stuff and think that I I or us or whoever that's working on this stuff is you know stealing their ideas and replicating it not true um, just want to throw that out there so argon and vaporizing iron and uh, more electron extraction circuit stuff lots to do but we're working on it so let's get it done do it as a team, open source it. It's for all of us. Um, I also did want to mention really quickly, some of you are wondering about donations possibly. Anybody that has donated any money for any reason that you would think this, um, all that goes into a totally separate uh, account. Um, and I haven't spent anything on anything for me personally. And do not plan on it. I won't be doing that. It's not what it's for. Yeah, I've lost this moment. And, uh, I just kind of want to mention that in case some of you were wondering that only goes towards things that I need and is never used for anything it's not supposed to be and the only reason I did the donation thing is to allow people who was wanting to help help that's the only reason for that so some of you don't want to donate or you're have or wondering whatever it's all it's for it's just to help keep the website up if we need it it's to help keep things going forward it's to help other people get the right things they need to do their testing for instance if we get this cell built Chris has donated the material Rod is going to donate some machining and and I'm going to send a cell out to one or two people that are replicating the circuit that we're working on as a team so that we all have the same thing so just inform everybody what's going on and uh, that's it so peace and love to you all I really want to say thank you to everyone. You all are, you all are good, good people out there doing a good thing, and I'm just trying, trying to do what I can do. It's, it's been a little stressful. I haven't got anything done this week. I'm just trying to spend more time with my family, and we'll get there with other people's help. So, as always, this is Russ with RWG Research. I really hope this whole video isn't blurry. And God bless. Take care. Peace and love. I'm out!